Hi and welcome to my tutorial on how to view the critical path in Microsoft Project. To view the critical path, you'll select Format, then you'll select the Gantt Chart Wizard, and when the Gantt Chart Wizard pops up, you simply walk through a number of the options to format the Gantt Chart. In this case, I want to view the critical path, so I'll click the Critical Path radio button, I'll click Next, I choose to keep the resources and dates. You can also select just resources or dates depending on what information you want to display. And in this case, I'll also keep the link lines between the dependent tasks and simply click Format it. You can exit the wizard. And now you see that your Gantt chart is formatted to include the critical path as well as the non critical tasks. The critical path is all the tasks that are listed here in red while the non-critical tasks are listed over here in blue. Of course, another way to format the critical path or to revert back to the normal Gantt chart view is simply to right-click, select the Gantt chart wizard, and you can start the process again. Another useful feature is to actually view all the tasks that are on the critical path and only view those tasks. To do this, I'm going to use the Group By option have you seen the combo box up here in the top of the standard toolbar? I simply click the combo box and I'll select the option critical. And here you'll see instantly Microsoft Project identifies the four tasks here that are on the critical path as well as the one task that is not. I realize this is a simple schedule, but this is just one example of how you can very quickly identify all the tasks that you need to monitor that are on the critical path as well as the other tasks that are not on the critical path. If you want to know how to view the Slack in your project schedule, another option is to view the schedule table by selecting View, Table, and switching to the schedule table. Here what you'll see are all the free Slack that is available within the project schedule for the non-critical tasks. So you can see here that this task has seven days of free Slack before it can actually impact the other tasks that are on the project schedule. Finally, another useful view is the Network Diagram view. And to view that, you simply click on the Network Diagram that's over here on the View Bar. And the Microsoft Project will go ahead and depict all the tasks from a node perspective uh, in terms of what's in the critical path is here in red and what are the other tasks that are not on the critical path over here in blue. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If so, please dig it. Add it to Delicious or other social bookmarking services. Add it to your favorites on YouTube, tweet it, or pass it on. For more information about tactical project management tips and project management advice, please visit tacticalprojectmanagement.com.